my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you for coming back. It's like a little virtual hug. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, please don't forget to. And, oh, I've got like an eyelash call. <laughs> And don't forget to press the notification bell as well because then that will alert you when my video is uploaded. You may not want to know. <laughs> you may not want to watch me after this. Um, so today's video, this was a highly requested video and I actually said that I was going to be doing it last week. I, this was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. So today's video is my top 10 thrifted clothing like accessories type. You know, fashion. What's that fashion? Um, thrifted fashion items. So some from charity shops. One of the things I've got off eBay. Yeah, I don't think there's any boots there, like I said, it's like charity shop or eBay. Um, but I wanted to show you because I am a charity shop, boot sale, eBay lover. I love a bargain. I am not frightened of secondhand whatsoever. Like, I, I do not care. I will wear someone else's jeans. Does not bother me. <laughs> I draw the line underwear. That's as far as I'll go. But listen, shoes and stuff, you can clean them up, anti-back them, and I love it. And I'm just here to prove to you that you can get some really, really good pieces. I've got a few little designer pieces here that I paid basically peanuts for. And these are my top 10 favourites. Um, some of them aren't designer labels, but they had a high price tag and still had tags on them, and I paid a really, really small amount for them. So that's why they're in my top, sort of like, top 10. So I'm going to get into the video. Don't forget to get yourself some hot, hot, hot. <laughs> my videos back I have to just upload them otherwise I know I never will because I can't edit so when I have all these little bits these are the bits that people would normally edit out so when I'm like haraj 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 <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking like um Rose oh, get a grip right let's get into the video so the first thing I want to show you is I get asked about these so I've mentioned these a few times because I'm just absolutely in love with the fact that I've got these and I'll say oh you know I'm wearing this blouse and I'll wear it with a nice pair of like skinny jeans or little cigarette pants and my lovely little Kurt Geiger pumps. Now these Kurt Geiger pumps, they're £179 online. These must have been worn once or twice. They was in immaculate condition. And I paid a fiver for them. And they were my size. I can't believe it. When I walked in the charity shop, I think it was called Quest. I don't know. I think that's what it's called, the charity shop. But how beautiful are my Kurt Geiger loafers. Now, these are my Kurt Geiger loafers. They're going to need rehealing because they're that really soft Italian leather and they've got like a little bit cracked here. They're going to need rehealing. Because so I was like really wearing these last spring. <laughs> little skinny jeans and nice little flowy uh, blouse. Um, oh, it's actually written in Italian. Oh, genuine leather, Italian handmade. Now, I have got Miss Kurt Geiger shoes from um, like Asos and stuff. But that's like his more cheaper brown. Brown. Brown, that's the thing. Um, cheaper brand. But these are actual just Kurt Geiger. These go under his name. That is it. These are, these exact ones are online at the moment. £179. So the fact that I paid a five before them is absolutely amazing. You can see they're still in immaculate condition even though I've been wearing them all of last spring. So you can get these bargains. Now they're from a charity shop. Second item I've got to show you is my lovely bag. Now this is on all websites like Zara at the moment, Topshop, these little retro bags are so in fashion and this is immaculate. I think if you watch my YouTube videos, you might have seen this bag. I paid £1.50 for it in the cat and dog sanctuary um, charity shop and it's all perfect. It doesn't come with a chain, but I have got chains of other bags I just switch it up with. Um, my mum bought me back a bag from Mongolia last year and it's got like a chain on it, but I've been using that bag. so. Hence the chain's not on this, but it's exactly the same colour silver. It's got some nice little pockets in there. There's even like a cotton pad in there. Because there was a little like test pot of micellar water sometimes. You know when you just that, you just think, I don't want my eye makeup off. Well I do, I've got contact lenses, so sometimes my eye makeup irritates my eyes. I think sod it, I'm taking I'm taking the makeup off. Um so it's in there. But the micellar isn't. So I've just got a little gross little uh, cotton pad in there. 
It's clean, it's clean, it's clean. Um, so this cost me £1.15. Now, if you bought something like this, or even off of like Zara, you're talking about like £30. So the fact that I've got this for £1.50, I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. And I just, I'll sort of squish it around. It's like my nice little bag. And if you want a night out and you want to sort of like go that sort of like trendy, sort of going out look, nice pair of like chunky like sort of statement shoes, pair of nice thin like skinny jeans, like mum jeans, tucked in blouse, like a statement belt on your little bag. I think it just looks really lovely. So I got that from the charity shop and I love that. Now this what I got is actually from eBay. I bidded on these bad boys and I'm so glad that I got these. I paid, I think it was four pounds something postage, which you do have to count. People say you don't count that, but I always count that. If I pay 20 pounds on something and I pay four pound postage, I say that's cost me 24 pound. That's just because I'm a bit of a bargain hunter and if I got it free delivery, I'm like, oh my God, I got free delivery. But these, right, these were in my size and um, my mum's cousin, she buys all Louis Vuitton, Burberry, you name it, second hand on eBay and she'll pay like for a thousand pound bag, she'll pay 200 pound. And they've all got certificates and they're really like perfect in condition, vintage ones. And she said to me, have a little look on there. I was going out to a party and I thought, you know what? I'm going, I want to I want to wear a really nice pair of shoes, but I really didn't want to spend the money because I'm not the kind of girl. One, I don't have Labooting money. And two, if someone give me Labooting money, there's a pretty good chance I'd buy myself like a microwave, some new plates and Emma Bridgewater stuff. I'm so not a fashion girl. I love my clothes, but I would rather buy a million pair of shoes from Primark or probably not Primark. I'm not really a Primark shoe lover, believe it or not. I love my Primark boots. I'm not like the biggest fan of Primark shoes. One being is they look amazing, but they never seem to last me. Like I always break Primark shoes. They're my hiker boots that I got from the Stacey Solomon collection have held up amazing. But I would definitely rate them, but I would rather probably go on ASOS and spend £40 on a pair of leather loafers because they will last me a good few years. Primark ones, one winter, one puddle, mine are gone. Maybe that's just me. I haven't bought a lot of Primark shoes, so maybe I'm just being a bit biased, but I wanted to get, you know, my nice shoes. So I typed in on there, Gucci, I thought I'd have a little girl Gucci, a little Louis Vuitton, and these shoes come up, the rambling on them, like, show us the shoes, show us the shoes. So I got these Gucci high heels. Okay, my kids are playing, they're like, play fighting or whatever. So I've got these Gucci shoes, so as you put them on, obviously it looked really weird if I had long toes like that, wouldn't it? Um, they sort of like wrap over, and then you put your foot in this bit, and they are in perfect condition. See the Gucci? They come in a box, they come in a box, and they come with a certificate, and I paid £12 for them, plus £4 post, it's just £16 these cost me in total, and they absolutely look amazing. I've got a little pair of skinny jeans on, but do you know what? I'm gonna try them on so you can see what they look like with my unpolished toenails. <laughs> my feet ain't in a pedicure in about 10 years. And you can see my little turkey arm on your right, my little overhang of my bra. I can't stop eating cakes in this isolation. That's the truth. I tell you the truth, <laughs> I ain't stopped eating. I'm all going on about the chicken salad today, but that don't really can, does it? Not for one day. So, oh, scoot along, and my little shoes, I've got to push my little uh, chubby toes in a little bit more, but I absolutely love these. So for £16, because including the postage reveal, but for £12 just for sandals, I thought that's really good. So what did I do? I had a little look in online. Turns out they're Gucci Bamboo, which means they're Tom Ford. That's a Tom Ford collaboration. I didn't know until my mum's cousin told me. So you're talking even vintage. You're talking they still sell for about £360. And I paid £12 for them. So check eBay out, guys. Like You've got to check them out. So now we're going to go on to clothing, well, I've got a belt and then I'm going to show you some clothing. So I got this belt the other week, this is real handcrafted Italian leather, in like a little crocodile effect, perfect condition, lovely little gold belt. Something you'd probably pay £4 for in Primark, but this is actually real leather, it's not PU, it's genuine leather made from Spain. And I paid a pound for it, paid a pound, so I just love that, obviously there must be like a recurring thing in the charity shops, like crocodile effect. This isn't leather, this is like a PU. PU. Now it's, um, oh my God, the jokes are getting worse. They're getting worse. Isolation's making my dad jokes come out really bad. So let's get onto the clothes. So you would have seen these if you watched my sort of me cutting clothes sort of like video. <laughs> I attempted to cut my clothes. I always cut my clothes and alter them to sort of go more of my shape. But I paid, I think these were a pound, I can't remember. I buy so much stuff from charity shops. If these weren't a pound, then I paid two ninety nine for them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these were the two ninety nine ones. But these are Wrangler jeans, so they're mum mum style jeans. 
I cut them down to fit my length and I went over them with a cheese grater on the bottom. That's a little tip to get them nice and frayed. And they're just, that. these are actual mum jeans. These are the jeans that we all remember our mums wearing and then like Topshop decided to make mum style jeans. These are actually 80s mum jeans. So these would have been on an 80s mum. They're just so lovely. And Wrangler and Levi and Lee, they're like the big brands of jeans. So you're talking quite a few quid for a pair of jeans. You're talking about 48 pounds for a pair of jeans. So I've got these, they're in my size. When I say they're in my size, they're in my pre-isolation size. So they've not been worn since it's been in isolation. And who wears jeans in isolation? Well, I am today, and that's a lie. I'm wearing them today, but I'm wearing my vintage slim ones from Primark where I've got a little bit of weight. You know, like a little bit of like leeway weight in there. You know what I mean? A little bit of space. <laughs> so I got those. So yeah, they were $2.99 for a pair of Wrangler jeans, vintage jeans. Now, I used to work down Camden and they used to have a store specifically for vintage jeans and vintage leather jackets. And they were charged like £50 for a pair of jeans on this store. And I'd be like, are you joking me? Like, are you serious? They're cheaper in, they're like, no vintage. Because they don't make that style pattern anymore and they don't have that same stitch seam and yeah. So they used to charge fortune. I never bought them because I just couldn't justify it. Especially when I was working in Camden, I was like with really, really, really bad wages. And I thought, I can't, I can't spend a week's wages. <laughs> no, I can't spend literally all my wages on a pair of jeans that aren't new. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just felt like I couldn't. And then it was fine because I waited about 12 years. <laughs> now I waited about 10 years and then I managed to get a pair for 2 99 So who's winning now, the Camden stall holders? Me, me, I tell you, me, mind you. <laughs> I probably would have like worn them a bit more, you know, been a bit more trendy after I had kids and stuff. These won't get a look in very much, but I might wear them a little Birkenstocks and a nice little t shirt in the summer on the school run. So now let's get into clothes. Now, this is a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, it's an oversized sort of jumper, like jersey material dress, sweat dress. And I absolutely love this. And I paid £2 for this. And get a look what brand it is, guys. It does come back back to front. French Connection, two pound. It's lovely with a little belt on it, or you can wear it with a little pair of like leggings. It's really lovely. It's got like the rib patterns and stuff on the front. Absolutely love that. Looks perfect, two pound French Connection. So you really can get these pieces in the sale. They're just really beautiful. Another thing I got was a red herring dress. So I didn't know this was red herring. This was a pound for this dress. This was in my most recent charity shop haul. Um, but when I tried it on, all you guys said it looked really lovely, which is so kind of you all. Um, but it really is a lovely sort of shapely dress. Like a pencil dress with a wrap. This wrap sort of disguises your mum belly. And then it ties up. It's a really lovely like aubergine colour. And um, usual saying it goes nice with my like, coppery hair colour. And I absolutely love it. And I didn't know what brand it was because they cut the tags out. And it wasn't until I was trying it on in front of you guys that I realised it's red herring for Debenhams. So you just like, actually, that would have been a good few quid from Debenhams, you know. Not, not that it's like a really expensive place, but it's like a sort of midi high street range, isn't it, Debenhams? So it isn't exactly Primark, and then, then it isn't exactly, what is a high-end high street? I can only think of like candles and stuff, like Joe Malone, they're like high-end, aren't they? I can't really think of clothing stores. Stores. <laughs> can't think of stores. No, um, so yeah, so probably, well, I don't know, £32, something like that for a dress like that, when in Primark you get some of that for eight quid. So the fact that I paid a pound for it is really, really good. Also, now this isn't the cheapest item, and I would say they charged quite a lot, really, considering it's Dorothy Perkins, but it still had a tag on it. I absolutely loved it. And this is probably one of my favourite dresses on. I think the shape of it is just beautiful. So I paid £6.99 for this, and it's Dorothy Perkins. I bought this while I've been doing YouTube, so you probably would have seen this. I think I've done this on a, in a haul. But I love the shape of it. I wore it over Christmas. Size 16. It's got a lovely little sleeve on it. It might look weird with this kind of like long shirt dressing underneath. But it comes in really nice at the waist. It really skims in. It's like an A-line shape. I wear little black tights, little pair of boots in the winter. And then in the summer, a little bit of red lipstick. I've got some little red, um, small wedged heels with like a little wicker on the bottom of them. Little straw bag. Look lovely. So I really, really love that. And that buttons up at the front. And then my last item is this. So you definitely would have seen this. So I remember you, oh no, it isn't my last item. I've got two more. <laughs> you definitely would have seen this because I remember some of you guys being like, that is such a good bargain because it still had the tag on it. So I think it was £52. So next, obviously, some of their dresses are like £25, but they have their more premium stuff. And this is, was 
This is what. <laughs> you can tell it's been a long day for me. It's been a long day. A long day. A non-alcoholic, my ad. I know you sometimes think that I have. Some of you are like, Rosie, we have a cheeky wine. No. It's just been a long day with the children. That's, that's what we say. So this is the petite range in there. So it's a little bit more expensive as well to get these sort of like ranges. And I've got this dress. It still have a tag on it. And I paid £5.99 for it. And it was 50 something pound. And it comes in so nice at the waist. You pull it through. It really is a beautiful dress. I've worn this a few times on my Instagram. Took photos in it. It's got a lovely like coral pattern in it. And when I tried it on properly, I said you could wear it with like a coral fascinator. It's like a very dark navy. You can wear little coral shoes. You can wear things like it's a wedding. So if you've got something like a big occasion coming up and you don't necessarily have a hundred pound for a dress in, you know, like monsoon or something like that, you can have a little look. Sometimes you never know what you might get. And then the last one I got, don't fit me at the moment because, like I said. Been eating um, a few cakes during isolation, and I didn't lose nothing after Christmas, so I've got that on as well. And I bought this before Christmas, <laughs> so I won't even attempt it. So this was Marks and Spencer. This was a so this is a cashmere blend, so it isn't completely. Cla Help me, guys. Help me out. It's not cashmere. It's, it's cashmere. It's cashmere. So this is cashmere. It's like a cashmere mix. So it's cash cashmink. Is that what it's called? Cashmink. I don't know. It's got a lovely little ruffle sleeve on it, and the sleeves sort of kick out like that, which is so pretty. And then when you pull it up, because obviously it's really tight on my arms at the moment, when you pull it up, it's got a lovely like little ruffle on it, and then it goes in at the middle. So what I was wearing this with um, just last autumn is I was wearing it with like little vests underneath, nice little like layered necklaces, a pair of skinny jeans with a nice belt, so the vest tucked in. It looked really nice, it looked really slim in. And then like a little pair of like sandals, it just looked really lovely. Before it got so cold that you couldn't wear sandals, it was from Marks and Spencer, and it said with cashmere, and I think I paid two ninety nine for that as well. I don't know. You've seen one of my videos. I'm pretty sure I have to go and have a little look back, even though I don't like watching my videos of myself because it just makes me cringe. Now I've got hiccups as well. But genuinely, it might be the green tea. I've been giving it a little go with green tea. I was like, Do you know what? Whenever I used to do Slimming World, I always used to drink green tea, and I used to feel like it made me feel less sluggish. Because sometimes I used to really pile up with like the pasta and the rice and the starch just to sort of fill me up because I was I never felt like I was full up. Um, so I drink a lot of green tea, it made me feel better. I had two big glasses of green tea before I filmed this, so I'm probably like, oh, all green tea that. Right, so that is my favourite top 10 thrifted bargain charity shop eBay sort of fashion guys and I absolutely love them and to be honest that is the tip of an iceberg really I my whole wardrobe we've got like Primark we've got a few bits from like ASOS and like the Zara and then we've got a little bit from other shops as well like H&M and Tesco's and Asda most of my stuff is like Primark supermarket stuff like Tesco's and Asda and thrifted I don't like spending a lot of money on stuff I don't like if I don't have to, I'd rather buy cheaper things. And I find that if you thrift in one area, you might have money freed up for in another area. So I really love my quality pottery. I love Emma Bridgewater. So I, even then I try and buy seconds and things in the sale and use discount codes and recommending friends. I like all of that. But if I've spent five pound on a dress that would have naturally cost me, I don't know, 40 pound, then I'm more happy and more inclined to spend 15 pound on a mug. I feel like I've made a saving because I can't afford to do both. Who can afford to do it all? So, oh, I wish I could. I really wish I could. Um, but no, I, do you know what? I would always thrift. I've always said this. I think if I won the lottery, <laughs> I would be literally just driving a little bit further. Just like, you know, you know, I ain't got to work or do anything. Gary, you ain't got to work. You can drive me because I don't like driving on the A roads. I'd be like, Gary, can you just drive me, you know, to like this charity shop and have a little look around? I'd always be a thrifter. Always be a thrifter. I absolutely love it. So I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all well and that you're all taking care um, and staying at home as well, it's very important. Um, and yeah, take care, have a lovely rest of your week. I'm Rosie Henshaw, I've also got a video coming up tomorrow, um, I've just filmed it. <laughs> so you know I'm not drunk if you watch tomorrow's one because it's as I go longer filming, I start to lose my stamina of my speech. <laughs> um, so yeah, that video will be up tomorrow and hopefully you'll stick around to watch that tomorrow's video is 
So I was explaining at the beginning of the video, so if you watch tomorrow, as you'll see anyway. Um, but I bought a few pieces on, not the Tuesday the lockdown happened, but the Tuesday before. So the Tuesday that I took my kids out of school, because obviously their school didn't close, their school closed, so I think it was Friday, and then it, well, the whole world went into lockdown on the Tuesday, like the UK, so the whole world, like the whole world, but the UK went into proper lockdown on Tuesday, and the Friday before that, the kids' school actually shut. But the Tuesday before that, I decided to not send my kids anymore because I thought, well, you know what? We don't know when they're shutting schools. They haven't told us that they were. And so I picked them up. It was about lunchtime that I picked them up. So I'd already been time bargains. And I'd ordered a few things online on the Sunday. But I didn't want to tell nobody that I was ordering them because I thought, if they don't come, because some companies, like Next, I had two cushions on the way from Next, and they said, we're not going to be sending them out. We'll just refund you because everything's shutting down. And I thought, if I say they're coming and they're not, the companies say no, because two of the things I've got are from Etsy. So I thought, do you know what? There's a good chance because it's a little boutique. They won't send them out now. Um, but they did. So I've got a little, um, my last spice before lockdown that I'm going to share with you. So hopefully you'll stick around to watch that as well. So take care. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Bye.